Next agenda item is uh, 11 and a half Thatcher Street, Gina keeps we as applied to the licensing board to amend the current license, adding portables to existing beer and wine license. Uh, hello once again, my name is Eric Speed from McDermott Colty Miller. Uh, Anthony Pichieri, COO of Boston Restaurant Associates, which owns and operates Pizza River Gina's in Boston and uh, Picaro's Restaurant. Uh, so, hopefully, as most people know, uh, Regina's been operating down Thatcher Street since 1926. Um, what the application before you today is for a cordials permit. Uh, cordials, for people that don't know, it's limoncello, sambuca, amaros, that kind of uh, liqueurs uh, after dinner drinks. It can be added on to what we have right now is a beer and wine license. It can be added on through a permit that's issued by the city of Boston and approved by the state licensing authority. We filed an application with the city of Boston. We have a hearing on June 5th and we're hoping for your support. Uh, the last, we met with um, the Residents Association, uh, some issues about the operational bought up. Uh, one of the issues was the, that there were, benches, there were benches outside the store, the people found it difficult to get by. Uh, we removed them that night. It's things like that, with those issues, anything, we're trying to be good neighbors down here. I live in the neighborhood, um, you know, they've been here since 1926. We're really, we want to be good neighbors to everybody. So with those kind of operations issues, anything we can do to be helpful, we want to. Um, but with that, we'll uh, have to open up to questions. <clears throat> I live up right across the square at, at the 10th Bachelor Street. And uh, one of the complaints I've seen on Matt's blog, and I have myself, is um, the explosive noise that comes from the dropping of the kegs when the, when the keg delivery happens every day. They basically throw the, the, the kegs down onto the ground. It makes a very loud noise. Um, I think it probably, it's usually early in the morning, often before 8 o'clock, and I think it probably disturb, disturbs the entire street all the way up to Endicott, certainly the square there where I live, possibly down north margin. I don't know how far it goes, whether it goes to the David Marcus apartment, uh, at, uh, far up, that's a, it's very disruptive. Um, I mean, this is a good opportunity to bring it up now that we're here. I would like to see the, uh, the control of the vendor, the delivery company who, who delivers your case, because it's it's like having a jackhammer go off. It's, it's an unpredictable sort of random noise that goes on for about 20 minutes. It's in the truck. It's on the truck. Or in, in the truck. Yes, and I think it is in the truck, so the it truck. vibrates that whole uh, the metal structure of the truck. Um, I can't see it from my window, but I can certainly hear it. So um, I'd like to address that. I appreciate you wanting to be good neighbors. That would certainly improve my quality of life. Yes, as, as a matter of fact, in the last meeting, I did speak to uh, Mr. Pizzo there, that I told him that I've been on the phone and I will deal with them to try to figure how we can make it much easier when they bring the empties. Do you operate uh, this type of license in any of your other restaurants? Yes, we have full service license at Pocari's up in Saugus. We have one in Woman. Uh, we have one in Alston. Uh, we have a beer and wine in Fenway, uh, right, right on Boylston Street, 1330 Boylston Street. Uh, my name is Don McPeasel. I live at 69 North Margin Street in Boston. I'm a lifelong resident. My family first came, settled here in the North End in 1894. We've been here a long time. Uh, as a former member of the Neighborhood Council. I served on the council for uh, several terms in the 90s. I know the issues that face the council are complex. And I'm not suggesting that we should wave a magic wand. But here are the issues I articulated. And the most important issue, or the most important resolu resolution of these, are uh, mitigation to minimize the impact of what. Uh, things that are going on that happen. I brought it to the Rumor's attention that the benches were an issue, that people with carriages and wheelchairs couldn't get there, and Mr. Cherry uh, had those removed, so I want to come in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, the trucks uh, pulling in at 7, 7.30 with the, um, you know, those big kegs, they're bouncing around. I'm not going to belabor it, just makes a lot of noise. Um, trucks blocking the street. Again, I'd like to see you work on that, because two of the trucks come in, and the 
get emergency vehicles in there is very difficult. Um, leftover pizza crusts, I don't know whether, if you could get someone to come out and police that in the morning, uh, you know, the pizza containers, uh, pizza crust, that would really be nice if you could do it. I don't know if it's possible, but if you'd look into that, I'd appreciate it. Last but not least, as I mentioned to you about the windows being left open, I did check it when I left because I thought maybe it was a one-time occurrence. Friday night, they were all open. You know, the windows, and the noise really, really, really bounces off. So if you could look into that, sure. I'd that appreciate it. Um, those are the issues I have, and again, I want to thank you for taking immediate action, and I appreciate you continuing working to resolve those other issues. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I want to be a good neighbor. I'm a North End resident. I've been here all my life, so I will work with you. Thank you. Thank you. Tom, how do you feel about what's, what's the proposed? Well, uh, in terms of the cordial license, um, I know their business is primarily, um, primarily pizza. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, he already has an existing license. Uh, and I think he's just going to. I, I would be against all future licenses in the North End because I walked down. I, I walked down Friday night. I walked down the street, and I've heard many stories that people that are drinking are drinking coming from Quincy Market. Not the case. I walked down. I, I'm not going to single out any establishment, but there's a lot of. After 10 o'clock, after meals are being served, there's a lot of liquor that's being served. I don't really see a, you know, a major issue with the court rules. I hope it doesn't become one. I hope you'll police that. I hope that if it becomes a problem, we can address that with you. Okay? But um, as, far, as far as future liquor licenses, I hope that this council will look very, very carefully at not approving any future liquor licenses in the North End. There are too many to begin with. And I'm not anti-business, I'm just pro-community. Just to uh, kind of address uh, some of the concerns with the liquor, um, Andy, we discussed this at the last meeting as well, just kind of from an operation standpoint, this is an amenity to the pizza, to the beer and wine that is currently served there. It's not, it is, we're trying to do it part of the one of Amaro, as Anthony was talking about last time, as an amenity to that Italian-American tradition at Regina's. Um, yes, and what we do is, uh, you know, we're open till 11.30 on Friday, uh, 12.30 Friday and Saturday, and we're open till 11.30 during the rest of the week. And we don't allow people just to come in and drink. We have a policy, and the policy is if you have something to drink, you have to eat. That's our policy. We're very strict with it. My name's been on many licenses. I have license all over that, you know, I go and I have to abide by it. I, that's what we do, we're not a bar. We're a restaurant, we're a restaurant first. And I just want to offer what they're looking for. And we are, we have a lot of young kids, there's a lot of people coming in, there's, you know, people that move into the neighborhood, they're college kids, they're, whatever you want to call them, they're in there, they're asking, they're asking for certain things. Right now I'm at a point, if you see, and, I, and I'll tell you, as, as, as far as locals, Regina, there's, there's not many locals. If there's a local Regina person, they have takeout order. Everything else is everybody else that's coming in there. So when they ask, I'd rather have them have something because now they're coming in ordering a pizza, but a glass of water. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one of these things. So, you know, people are saying there's different types of Amaro. If I have three, four, five bottles, whatever it is, I just want to be able to have something there. It's not a bar. Mm -hmm. And I'm very strict on that. I mean, I've done it all my life. And I'll be pleased at myself. Question? Yes. Yeah, um, just that last meeting you had, I thought 10 or 12 meetings. Uh, you say the same thing. But the number one issue was you're not managing the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Anthony and I love the feature right. machine like everybody else. And a lot of people have to walk in the street because they can't get by and people are not moving. I think that's something you need to look at. We discussed that on the last meeting that I said we're trying to look at some kind of a beeper system or even a texting system. Mm -hmm. uh, what we try to do right now, we have signs, we, we try to hold them towards the building because where they go in line, we actually own that whole first floor mm -hmm. going all the way down to where the, the, the yard is. We try to keep them there. But on other days, there's crazy, there's people all over the place, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it, gets, it gets hot.
but we are working and we're going to figure out the best way that we can handle that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I honestly, I, I, I do sympathize with your problem that, you know, you're very busy and whatnot, but you know, I do understand that you own into 15 batches Yes, we go all the way around. The yard. However, there are eight units above yes. there, and I have uh, represented multiple owners in the upper units, and I have tried to do open houses, and I have tried to do showings on Sundays and during the day, and it's been virtually impossible because of the lines and the obstruction on the sidewalks. So I, I do know that it is a problem. I don't live in that area. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. on the other side of the north end. But I do know that, that it's been a problem. I, I'm not saying that this issue actually pertains to the license that we're going to now. You have other community issues that I think are clouding your your issue of, of trying to get a license. And, and I'm not sure how to separate that for the community because they, they are valid issues. And maybe you know, you're getting a your license really isn't that big of a deal what the other issues are. And, you know, I think that they need to be, you know, mutually inclusive, but, but there, there is a problem, and I don't know how to resolve it here tonight, but I think that that's what we're hearing from the community. Marie, did you have a... Yes, I did. Anthony, you yes. said you live in the North End, and you've lived in the North End for how many years? All my life. What street do you live in? 13th Sheep Street. Sheep Street. That's my mother's in the first building. How is Sheep Street in comparison to the restroom? Is it quieter than you would say the Pizza Regina area? I'll, I'll be honest with you. Sheep Street, there's a lot of noise on it. We have a lot of young kids that live on the street. Okay, I've lived here my whole life. The noise right. is so out of control. And these are my feelings, and I right. could feel less about what anybody thinks because I speak from my heart and I feel as though I'm saying the truth. The bottom line is, it has been for so many years, hooray for the restaurants and the hell with the residents. And it has made quite a few people very bitter in this area. Dom is talking about noise, there is noise. People picking up trash at three in the morning when other people may have to get up at five or six. I'm not one of those people that have to get up at five or six, but if I did have to get up at five or six and a, and a trash company was coming down the street picking up trash for all these restaurants, I would be infuriated. The bottom line is, I'm gonna be very honest with you, Anthony, it's not hooray for the restaurants, it's hooray for the residents. We put up with far too much and I care about the residents more than I could ever care about the restaurants because I feel as though the whole lot then is out of, out of control so bad, it just, it, it's frightening for those who have lived here our whole life. When people start urinating in your doorway, having sex in your doorway, and throwing bottles off rooftops at our cops, this is a serious issue, and it's been going on for far too many years. That's all I can say. Any more uh, questions or comments? Or? I do have, right now, you're voting on not these issues we discussed. Exactly. Right. That's, that's exactly right. Thanks, thanks, Bill. We appreciate all of this, and, and, and you know, maybe there's some other issues that we can address. Amend the current license by adding cordials to existing BL1. Motion support. You have a motion. Yeah, by adding cordials to existing BL1 license. Second. All in favor? You opposed? Seven. You may have seven. Seven. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.